first article of the Apostles' Creed is very straightforward. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And that's exactly what he did. He made it all. In six 24-hour days, God created everything. Heavens and earth, seas and land, animals, and even the little creepy crawly things that make us jump. God made them all. And he made you. He created you. And he gave you reason and senses. This reason that he's given to us is what separates us from every other part of creation. But this reason that God has given to us also needs to be guided and normed by God's word. You see, if my reason is not normed by what God says, if my reason just is allowed to run on its own, it will do two things. My reason will, first of all, push God out of the picture. And then it will elevate me to be God. And therefore, if my reason serves me only, it will elevate me to say that every decision I make with my reason is right. Every emotion that I have that I like is correct, and I should be able to follow up on that. Think about how that looks in our world today. When reason is left on its own and not guided by God's word and how he has created us, it would mean that I can devise that the earth is 600 some million billion years old. And that must be true because that's what I believe. If my reason is left unchecked, then it would be able to decide if I am male or female. It would be able to decide what gender I should be. If my reason is left unchecked, then everything that I love will have no guidelines or boundaries unless I set them. The sixth commandment comes to mind quickly. We're dating what's the next step without God's word. It continues to just feed the flesh. God has given me my reason and my senses. He continues to sustain us in all things. And as he does that, he gives us what we need. He gives us faith. Created by God the Father, conceived and born into this world, and then remade, regenerated in the wonderful waters of baptism, where he gives us faith. And he norms and guides my reason and my senses that now it's guided by God's word that we believe what God says and we use our reason and our senses to continue to give praise and honor to him and to live in this wonderful creation he's given to us, guided and directed by his word alone. We are the pro-life generation. That's what today's high school and university students are calling themselves. Why are youth for life? Lutherans for Life's Why for Life community helps answer the question. Why for Life engages and equips today's learners to be tomorrow's leaders through education, networking, and service. Learn more about bringing Why for Life to your church and school at whyforlife.org. That's the letter Y, the number 4, L-I-F-E dot org.